Hi guys, so this video is going to be one of the most important videos that you'll ever watch as a window tinter. And I'm going to go over understanding contamination. Now, before we start, if you aren't subscribed to my channel, I'd massively appreciate if you could hit that subscribe button and it really helps our channel a lot. Now, contamination is the number one problem that window tinters have from when they're just starting out, but it also still plagues window tinters, you know, who've been doing this for a few years or even 10 plus years. And we're gonna break down the different types of contamination and what it is, and um, we're gonna go over some quick tips on how to prevent it. Now, what is contamination? This is also known as dirt or dust, and it will also show up as tiny specks or even bubbles, as some customers on new tinders like to call them. And it's basically a speck of dirt or dust that has a white glow around it, making it more pronounced. Now, the white glow around it is air that is actually trapped around the dust or the dirt, and this is what makes it stand out more. Now, sometimes these specks may be very hard to see at first and almost invisible. I see so often people saying that, you know, they definitely weren't there when I left the tint job, but trust me, it was there when you left the tint job 100% of the time. And the problem is, is that you just weren't looking hard enough. And at first, these specks will be surrounded with soapy water and they're gonna be very wet. And when window film is wet, it's not gonna show imperfections as easy. As the water dries out though, this is when it's gonna you know, really stand out. As all that water is gonna evaporate and it's gonna be replaced with air. And when air is left in window film, it shows as a white glow, which again, makes it really stand out. So again, these were always there when you left the job, you just didn't check hard enough um, you know, when you'd finish your job, which is why I recommend always checking over your work outside and using all angles, because again, you know, they can be very hard to spot, but you can spot it if you look at the right angles or if you have the right light. And if you do spot these specks in your tint and the film has not dried out yet, you can actually still make them far less visible under professional standards with some really good tricks. Now, we do have a full tutorial on how to actually do this process, you know, that's a whole different lesson that I want to go through with you. Now we're going to go over what is this dust and you know where did it come from. Now there are four main different types of layouts of this contamination that you're going to see and we're going to focus on them in these tutorials. Now number one is going to be spread out contamination. Number two is going to be single contamination. Number three is controlled contamination and number four is random burst contamination. Now as someone who has now been in this industry for 15 years, you know, I can look at almost any picture of a problematic contaminated tint job and I can identify the problem that caused this contamination in the first place straight away. And this is exactly what I want you to be able to take away from watching this video so that you can improve and become a better tinter. You know, the getting better from making mistakes, um, it never meant that you just make mistakes and get better next time. It means that if you make the mistake, you need to identify the mistake, understand how you had the problem and learn and go forward from there. This is where the saying, you know, get better from your mistakes comes from. And this is what, again, we want to achieve in this video for you. Now again, number one, spread out contamination. This contamination is where it is spread out over a long part of the window. And it's not when it looks like this and is controlled. There has to be a few inches around each speck with exception and you know, no unique patterns to these specks. And this nine times out of 10 can be the dust in the air, but in rare circumstances, it can also be from the spray bottle you're using, um, just not filtering out the water properly. Now to combat this, you either need to spray the air a lot just before you peel your window film, and this will bring all the dust down or just be a lot quicker when you peel the window film, you know, from when it's fully exposed to when you install it to the window. But another reason it can be as well, if you're finding that, you know, it just favors one side, it can also be your peeling location. But again, you know, this will usually just favor one side. And if you're peeling off a car, um, you have to remember if you haven't cleaned that car and you're spraying it with a lot of water and all the dirty water from the panel can run down into the window film. So again, depending on which way your window film is, you could have spread out contamination through half of the window film because you've oversprayed it on a dirty car. Now number two is single contamination. Now when you're experienced, this is the most annoying as it's not always something that you've actually done wrong or you can control. 
And this can come in the form of a small hair or just a thick speck um, that landed in the window. And you know, it can be completely random. And if you're tinting a lot, you're gonna find this in at least one window on a six car day. But if you're skilled enough, you can retrieve this or even fix it in most cases and just carry on as normal. But again, you know, there could be so many different factors, but a lot of it could be chance. It could have come off your shirt when you peeled the window film or your hair, or it could have just fallen down from the roof. But again, you're gonna find this every now and then. And number three is controlled contamination. Now, this is perhaps the most frustrating one I see myself from images by newcomers to the tint industry. And it's usually found around the sides, whether that be the top and the bottom or just the actual sides. Now, the reason why this is frustrating for me to see is because the majority of the time, this is all down to the install and how it actually went on. But newcomers who don't understand contamination often say things like, you know, I cleaned the window three times and I still got it. And then you ask for the video of their install and they're rubbing all the sides, they're touching the top and it's just not going on smoothly. Even if you don't clean the window at all, most of the time you're just going to get a light spread out contamination and in most cases it will never look like this with one patch of contamination so again if you see this you have to understand in most cases your install did not go on smoothly and you need to fix that if you even just brush the side for you know a second or you brush the top you have to understand that any contamination that was left in these areas is going to stick to the window film instantly now if you are a member of the Tint School Online program, head over to the drill section because there you're gonna see you know, exactly what you're doing wrong. And you should be able to install window film and just know if it's gonna be a good job or a bad job. Experienced window tinters are never surprised when they see any types of this contamination. As myself, you know, when I install window film, if I feel like I touch something, I know straight away that I've identified I've touched something and I know where the problematic areas are. And it's very, very important that you identify this. And in the drills, and um, we go over the perfect install um, and you can follow along with me and you know we'll really master that install method. And number four is random burst contamination. Now this can be from a variety of things, but you know I'll throw a few out there for you to know. It can be from things like maybe the water was dripping off the top of the pillar that you didn't wipe. This can be dirty water. If this hits the window film, you're gonna have a burst of contamination. It can be from your fingers, um, you know, maybe where you've touched the film, you've touched the tint and you've left a bit of contamination on there. Or or maybe the film even roll back on itself and the back of the film which is dusty has touched the front of the film now it is very important not to just push every mistake into this bracket just focus on the first three because they're the best if you are a beginner yeah, so they're the main four reasons but again it's just so important that you take away from this video that you have to you know when you see your mistakes you have to know straight away what type of mistake it is and where it comes from so then you can improve next time but again, you know, you should really, really know if your install went on perfect by just understanding. If you touch something, um, you know there's a problem. If the film folded on itself, you know there's a problem. And this is how tinters operate. And it's very important that you do understand this. But of course, at first, when you see the contamination, you have to first identify where it come from, go back to the install and try and figure out um, you know what you did wrong. So that's it from this video on understanding contamination. Now seeing as I peeled the window film off on this window to show you all these demos, I figured that I'll quickly leave a video of me tinting this single window from start to finish just so you can see me do it with the Union Window Films. Now if you are interested in Tint School Online platform there is a link below with more information and if you are looking for a window film to use going forward our YouTube subscribers actually get 10% off the whole shop of Union Window Films and that will be in a link below and also if you're not subscribed really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button again it really helps the channel Thank you.